Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Okay, uh, this news broke recently. Uh, two activists from the nonprofit Center for Climate Reporting set up a meeting with um, a gentleman by the name of uh, Russell Vought, or Vought, uh, V O U G H T. Again, if it's Vought, it's another one of those really ironic names between cannons and votes and um, crooks and all sorts of stuff going on this year. Um, he's the co-author of Project 2025, and he, um, he met with them uh, under the guise that they were you know, related to a, a big donor. Do the Republicans just not do any research whatsoever? Anyways, they, they, and if they talked with him in a room that had several cameras and microphones in it so they could capture this conversation from all sorts of different angles. And in this um, conversation, uh, Mr. Vote uh, basically revealed to them that uh, Trump is very much behind Project 2025, even though he's publicly denying that he knows it, he's on board with it. Uh, vote or Vought has been mentioned as a possible White House chief of staff under Trump. Um, he mentioned that these plans would uh, uh, try to block uh, funding for Planned Parenthood, cut down on government agencies' autonomy. That's your Schedule F. Cut down um, work on and to work on rehabilitating Christian nationalism. Freaking a Christian extremism in the United States. They're trying to turn this into. The American Taliban. Um, this guy served at, under the Office of Management and Budget under Tr Trump, and he founded the Center for Renewing America in 2021, partnered with the Heritage Foundation to create, create Project 2025, and he's a key architect in the plan. Um, he's somebody, he claims he's someone who has the president's trust, and Trump has blessed it, and he's very supportive of what they're doing. And that if Trump is elected, everything's designed to be plugged right in. Um, not in this article, uh, but in other things that I've heard, is that they do not plan on sending these uh, things through email. It's going to hand it to folks on paper, so you can't get it, you can't get what they're doing through the Freedom of Information Act. So they're trying to do an end around on. The uh, and journalists, journalists uh, doing a an FOIA uh, a FOIA FOIA act to get information on this. They want to work behind the scenes. This is scary stuff, and I'm not thrilled with this, uh, as no and nobody should be. Um, but the fact that yet again. Project 2025 is linked to Trump and two thirds or more of the American citizens polled do not like, you know, they don't want to, um, public at the Department of Public Education being disbanded. They don't want to become a Christian nation, you know, stuff like that. Um, it's being exposed and it's being shown to people. And we, again, having five different cameras and a bunch of different recordings, they can't deny it happened. And they tried not to deny it. They just said, well, yeah, all they did was prove that there's distance between us and President Trump. Because he basically, uh, this guy basically said, I have Trump's ear. And he's very supportive of what we do. As if that means that Trump isn't blessing it and saying, yeah, go for it. I'm going to totally enact it. They're acting like, well, since he's not in the room with us signing documents on the bottom line, there's complete separation. That's just, that's crazy talk. So let's look at the energy around Project 2025 with this latest release and yet more exposure of what's going on with uh, Donald Trump, the Republican Party, the Heritage Foundation, and Project 2025, entertainment purposes only. Nine of Wands, it's showing there's a plan. There is a plan in place, and they fully plan on enacting it if they get into power. Current, and that's crossed with the Page of Pentacles. And information through intrepid reporters keeps getting out on it, so they can't keep it secret. Underneath it all is the Seven of Coins, 
Um, although Trump tries to deny it, and uh, I know the director of the Heritage Foundation stepped down. Uh, this is a reap what you uh, you reap what you sow card. This is a poisoned bush that yields poison fruit, and something like this uh, secret recording links it to the Republican Party and Donald Trump. In the past, the Six of Swords, Trump has tried to distance himself from Project 2025. He knows that he can't win the election with it, but if he does win the election, he fully plans on implementing it. It's just more lies. And the thing is, it would be so nice if Republicans and MAGA actually believed what they heard, but they don't. They're in a cult. You can't expect them to do anything. Look at all these swords. 654. Looks like we have a countdown coming on. <clears throat> Overarching energy is the Four of Swords. This is going to be yet another thing that... Um, Project 2025 really should be like going away, but I think this is showing how subversive it is. Um, in my last reading, <coughs> I was saying Project 2025 was going to be dead, but a lot of people said, no, it's just going underground. This is kind of in indicative of them going underground. They're trying to keep it secret. They're trying to keep it quiet. You know, we want to work in the background. Let's not talk about Project 2025 because it's not popular. The lesson to be learned from this is the Five of Cups. But no matter how secret they try to keep it, information keeps getting out. They can't work behind the scenes. People are seeing what they are and what it's about. The, the one, you know, somebody who's breaking into houses at night when people are home, aren't home, I should say, they don't want the neighbors, they don't want lights going on. They don't want the neighbors looking out their windows taking uh, care of their neighbors' houses. They want to do stuff quietly in the background. The outcome is the chariot. Despite this, Project 2025 will continue to carry on. Um, again, it's a poison bush. Why will it continue to carry on even though it's unpopular? Because they're this freaking close to getting everything they want to turn this country into a dictatorship, an American oligarchy with um, a, you know, it's like Iran. You know, you have a you have a a, a, a bureau of clerics. You know, that would be equal in power to like the Supreme Court or Congress. So you can rule on things from its Christian point of view. And again, it's going to be more purposeful misquotes of the Bible to oppress women and gay people and uh, immigrants. Oh, yeah. And, and of course, the other thing he was saying on there was the first thing they're going to do is a massive deportation. Got to get rid of the brown people. Which is funny because, I mean, a lot of folks from Central and South America are Christians. So you're getting rid of Christians when you want to create a theocracy in the United States. It doesn't make much sense. I guess they're just born the wrong color. Because, you know, Jesus said, love thy neighbor unless he's from uh, Central or South America, in which case, screw the bastard. I, I'm pretty sure that was in the New Testament. I just, I, I might, I know, I kind of slept through kindergarten, kindergarten, through catechism. I wasn't a real fan of it, as you might imagine. Now, my catechism, my churches and stuff like that, they never taught BS like this. And I would, I would hope to shout that they would be ashamed of anybody embracing this rhetoric. But what do I know? I don't go to that church anymore. I don't go to church anymore, period. All right, we looked at the general energy around it. Um, Trump apparently started fleshing out his transition team, and it did not include folks from the Heritage Foundation or Project 2025 because he's trying to pretend like he's never heard of the thing before. Um, what's What's Trump thinking now that this got uh, this got out? We have the justice card here. May not be. Let's see. Justice crossed with the fool card. <laughs> um, yeah. What's he got? Um, 
he he yeah he knows that this is not if he supports this people won't vote for him so you know just like he'll just lie i never heard it before never heard of this thing sounds completely unfair i'm gonna do something that does does it matter that project you know uh initiative 47 whatever the heck he calls it is um project 2025 with a 47 in front of it his his, his supporters don't care his supporters don't care um Underneath is the Knight of Cups. Trump absolutely is on board with this, by the way. He may be denying it, but he's on board with it. He's totally on board with this. Anything that's going to give him power. Now, here's the thing. The other thing this guy said was, <clears throat> actually, it wasn't this. This was a, probably a TikTok I heard. Uh, Trump's probably most interested in getting a hold of the Department of Justice and the FBI because he is going to go on a revenge tour. He is going to air his grievances, and then punish those who who weren't supportive enough. So what does that lead? That leaves J.D. Vance in Project 2025 doing all the all, doing the actual work of the presidency. So Trump can just go after people. He, he, yeah, there we go. Trump's going to, all Trump wants to do is weaponize the Justice Department. Anything else, that's all negotiable. Just give me money and I'll let you do what you want. So long as I get this. That's what this card's telling me. In the past, Seven of Swords. Yeah. Um, you know, he, he stolen elections. He he played the stolen election card before. He's gonna he's already started playing the stolen election now. Um, he's got to be, you know, he knows that this isn't popular. So he's trying to put distance between him and in that because he'll lose the election that way. Current situation is the five of wands. You got the um all the, the the energy of the hillbilly brawl card in this information keeps coming out um a lot of turmoil goes with this project and he's trying you know folks are trying to keep it on the down low but whenever it gets out out of the down low it causes problems overarching energy is the page of cups it would be nice if again the maga faithful the q and nonsense folks the flat earthers in this world actually paid attention to what was going on because they're going to be the ones who get screwed hard on this. They will get screwed hard and they will get screwed first. But all they care about is, oh, you know, it pisses off the libs and we're going to deport brown people. That's not me on either count, so I'm good. But they don't realize that they're next. Overarching energy is the Eight of Cups. As more people find out about it, more people are going to walk away. And I think this is just plain Republicans here. Uh, the MAGA folks will never walk away. If they ever figured it out, they would. But they'll never figure it out. Outcome is the Ace of Cups. What's going to end up happening here is um, just more and more fanatics are coming into the Trump camp and it's the people who aren't fanatic are being excised out as rhinos because they're not part of the team. If you're not all in, you're not in. And that's what's going to happen with the with the GOP. It's just it's not popular and if you get associated with it, uh, it's like a death knell. To anybody but MAGA. So, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Matt Gates, Jim Jordan, uh, Louis Gomer, all these guys that are like really heavily red or gerrymandered districts, they can fully embrace Project 2025 as much as they want because not only does it not hurt them, it's actually, you know, it's red meat for the base. But anybody else who's in a competitive seat this thing is horrific again when two-thirds to three-quarters of the people don't like it the democrats only make up what 55 percent of the population say 40 and 45 percent are not democrats <laughs> and you know when they're saying you know even if all democrats hate project 2025 and that takes out 55 percent of the 70 percent it still means that 15 percent to 20 percent of the people that don't like it 
are people that would be voting for you, i.e. not voting for Democrats. And that's assuming 100% uh, Democratic rejection. It's high. It's like 90%, but it's still. This is, this is not something that's going to get you swing voters. This is not something that's going to get you moderate voters. This is not something that's going to get you Muslim voters, Buddhist voters, uh, Jewish voters, flying spaghetti monster voters, Islamic voters. You know, the, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Atheist voters, agnostic voters. <laughs> What's the spiritual lesson to be learned from from this exposure here. It's about the government. What government do you want? Because they're trying to change, fundamentally trying to change the government of the United States. They want to take it on a new and foolish journey. They're going to ram this thing through, so you have to take up sticks too. You have to push back. You have to push back hard. Big money is driving this. American oligarchs want to drive this. Because they like their comfortable lifestyle, so what? So America, uh, this government changing, big push forward for a new government driven by wealthy people who want to oppress less wealthy people so that they can maintain their extremely lavish lifestyle. So how do you push back on this government? You have to push back too. You have to point out how foolish this is to the average person because there's way more of us average people than there are really wealthy people, and you have to point out. The damage it's going to do to the average person and how they aren't going to have anything they're not going to have enough to live their lives comfortably because it's all going to get stuck on the top they really need to couch this as this is what they do in iran this is what the taliban do you're making this an american taliban and start using those those four-letter words like Taliban, um, you know, religious extremists, stuff like that, and go after them. <sighs> Why did we come down here again? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess we like drama. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and supporting my channel. I think we're going to get through this. Uh, too many people don't like this. Oh, yeah, and of course then, uh, sorry not to depress you, but the last thing that came to mind in that interview was, well, what happens if people start protesting? Oh, Trump will call the military to squash it. Tell me tell me, he's not on board with this. This guy knows exactly what Trump will do because Trump stole him. So you got to get out. Get out. Make sure you register to vote. Make sure like-minded people are registered to vote. Check those voter rolls. Uh, there are states that are per doing massive purges of voter rolls. Make sure that you're not one of those people being purged. Okay? We'll get through this. But you got to do your part. Get out and vote. Thank you very much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I do appreciate it. I hope you found this reading insightful. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.